Locally again, there's been a 50% surge in phone scams, with swindlers collecting $360 million. Most of the victims were tricked by fraudsters pretending to be government officials. Here's Janice Lowe again. A total of $360 million was lost in phone frauds between January and June. The total number of telephone frauds in that period climbed to 634, an increase of over 50 percent from a year earlier. Victims were mainly under 31 years old and above 61. In 70 percent of the cases, scammers pretended to be government officials. Fraudsters who used this tactic were responsible for 95 percent or $342 million of the total loss from phone scams. Chief Inspector Ho Nok of the Kowloon East Regional Crime Unit said scammers would play a recording claiming to be government officials. The victims would be told that they were involved in criminal cases or have sent illegal packages to the mainland. They would even send the victims fake photos of mainland police, making the claim sound more realistic. Ho added that scammers also asked the person who picked up the phone to guess their identities and would even set up fake websites for victims to input their bank credentials. Once this is done, the victim's money is transferred. Police reminded the public to stay alert and work with banks to minimize the monetary loss by stopping any scam payment. Janice Lowe, HKIBC.